What follows is not one of my tapes, but a copy of a tape that I was given by Bruce from New York. He was one of the so-called party line people, that is, the people who hung out on the accidental conference lines that were so common in New York City. New York Telephone used to provide its Centrex service by using step-by-step -step PBXs with direct inward dialing. In these PBXs, very often the intercept line was left empty, where there were really just a series of vacant phone lines all connected together with no recorder to say the number you have reached is not in service. The situation was extremely common and a whole subculture of people using these intercept lines sprung up in the 1970s. Now, Ben Decibel and I were phone freaks and we used to pretty much look down on the New York party line people. They didn't really know much about phones, although they knew how to uh, look for and find some of these Centrex conference lines. But this one, the 790 conference in early 1976, was so much fun that Ben and I got down off our high horses and just sort of joined in like regular folks. Well, not entirely. At times we would do technical wizardry like echoing everybody on the conference by hooking up a three-head tape recorder between one line and the other, feeding everybody back through a delay which made an echo. The tape that follows not only contains the usual obscenities, but lots of crude references to body parts and self-gratification. It's celebrity roast type obscenity without the bleeps, so if you would be offended, don't listen any further. In any case, it's a very human tape, and it shows the human side of how it is that we got interested in the phone network in the first place, because it was these so-called party lines that called the phone network to my attention in the beginning days in 1970. And lest you think that uh, places where people hang out and talk to each other for hours on end began with BBSs and IRC, that is not the case. Here's where it started, as far as I can tell. So here it is, the 790 story made by Bruce in 1976. And by the way, Gail, Desiree, Melba, and Flipper are all the same person. Melba Productions presents the 790 story. The highlights of the 790 party line. Starring in alphabetical order. Ben, Bruce, Cindy, Desiree, Donna, Evan, Flipper, Gail, Gary, Ginger, Grand Central, Ronald McDonald, Samantha, Shelley, and Toby. The 790 party line began Sunday morning, February 8th. Ronald McDonald and Bruce were the first two people to speak on the line. By Tuesday, February 10th, 790 was a legend. By the week of the 16th, literally hundreds of people were calling in. Groups of so-called phone freaks, party liners in California, Boston, and Rochester, and many others. However, on February 25th, the line was gone. And now, the 790 story. The reason the 790 party line was so popular was because of the promotional tape made by Melba Productions. Hi, I'm Samantha. And I'm Ginger. We're Samantha and Ginger of Battle McBattle Productions, here to tell you about the new party line. Ben, Ben, hi. This is Dave today. All you guys who want to back off on the telephone, call. 790-6392, and there's a way we'll take care of you. <laughs> Hi, this is Jason Ray speaking from Melba Productions, saying, call the new party line, and things will be dynamite. Melba Productions presents the 70... Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everybody. This is the captain reminding you of the four basic rules of the 790 party line. Rule number one, never call the line during regular business hours. That's 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. 
Number two, never use obscene language while on the line. Number three, never call the 790 line with the assistance of an operator. And number four, don't use tapes, touch tones, or any other sound effects for annoying purposes. Those are the four rules. They're easy to follow. So hang in there and have fun on the 790 party line. Hi, everybody. This is the captain explaining to you rule number one of the 790 party line. Rule number one states, never call the 790 line during regular business hours. That's 9 to 5, Monday through Friday. This rule is important to follow for the following reason. I didn't want to say that. Just give me a beep. The reason I think the 790 party line is so popular was because of the discovery of it. Wait a minute, Bruce, forget it. I busted up. Seven nine our party line was really great. It was so good. We all had such a good time with one another. That is, until the long distance people started to call and they ruined it all. Phone freaks, the weird people from California. We couldn't even talk the same language as they did. An automatic dialer on a ship. It stores up to ten numbers. And the numbers can be 22 digits long. Oh, well, aren't you cool? Yeah, get the fuck off. Oh, rule number two. <laughs> Attention all California people. Get the fuck off. That's right, rule number two. Attention all California people. Get the fuck this off. This conference will be, uh, is to be taken over. <laughs> the specified time will be transmitted to you. That's pretty and good, you ought to be a DJ. Will be issued to you as the evening goes on towards the time of takeover of the 212 from the New Yorkers. Oh. Hear the truth about Frigo Lipton. Do you know Chris? You heard the truth about Martin Lipton? Do you know Chris? You heard the truth about, um, uh, Mary Gilbert? Do you know Chris? You heard the truth about anybody on the line? Have you heard the word? If you're asking me questions now, you'll understand this is a recording. What? Did you know Jesus before he was a superstar? Do you know that you're a dick for? Oh, I know what my dick's for. What's your dick for? Every mm -hmm. time his dick is hairy. That's pretty good. Why don't you just keep on rolling? You got the crowd with you now. <laughs> They're in stitches. Why well, we're laughing so hard that we, we can't catch our breath. Hardy <laughs> har har. That's who you smoke. Yeah, you hear that? Yeah, you hear that hardy har har? har? What, what's the matter? You ran out of material? No, I'm just, I'm just, you know, trying not to offend you. You're obviously jealous of my voice. Uh, I'm, I'm jealous. There's no doubt about it. I'm He's jealous. jealous, especially with that voice from New York. Listen to him. Hey, listen, buddy. Listen to me. I'm a disc jockey from 93 KHJ. Hey, listen to me. I'm a disc jockey from 77 WABC. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, man, any time you want to have a jock-off, oh. Why did, why did you think uh, Gail was such a personality on the line? I don't know. It was like, you know, every time she got on the line, the whole atmosphere changed. Hi, Sammy. Hi, Gail. Hi, Bruzzy. On W-A-I-S. <clears throat> no, W-S-E-X. Gail. What? Finally got off the internet. I haven't been on it. You fucking fat Hi, everybody. This is the captain reminding you that rule number two no longer applies to Samantha. Or me. Or Gail. Or me, fuck it. <laughs> you say so many fucking swear words and I never fucking swear at all. Oh, bullshit. What's your number? What's my number? Yeah. All right, are you ready for my number? Are you? Here, here's my number. You ready? <gasps>
Did you tell her my name was David? Who? Desiree. I told her that name I date you once. That what? I said that's the name you used when I first met you. Oh, yeah. Get those lips off that phone, girl. Put my chin up there, honey. It is. Oh, my God. I just got poked in the eye. I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello. Yes, have you heard the truth about Frugal Land down in front of the Believe me, honey, this time you've only got poked in the eye, right, Ron? What? <laughs> Hey, 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 Gail, is it live or is it Memorex? It's Memorex. Hey, Gail, Gail. Say that tape again, Sam. No. I love it. Girl. My, I don't know, fucking slice your tits off. I love it. I'm going to sell them this, uh, whale brother. Gary, shut up. I'll fuck every hair out of your prick. I already did. <laughs> did you? Gail, uh, <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Gary, blow it. Don't you be calling me an alpine, are you fucking calling you? Gail, don't laugh anymore. Why? <laughs> Stop laughing. What are you doing? Every 
Everybody had their turn as a singing star on 790. Whack, 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 they call me the whacker. Whack, 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 that's all that I'm after. Ah, lots of love you, baby. Ah, lots of love you, baby. When it's first, pin in, pin, get down on me.
then there was a time that uh, Bruce's cousin Toby got on the line, and uh, he couldn't tell who was the real Desiree and who was the imposter. Fucking prick. Yeah, you know, the more I think about it, 
The more I am glad I did get a lot of uh, 7 I know on tape. I don't know if everyone would agree with me, though.
Yeah, go for the... Funky, foxy, sexy, mama's song. Funky, foxy, sexy, mama's song. I'm trying to keep the peace. Oh, piece of what? Cindy, peace of mind on this conference. You don't want a piece of Bruce? Cindy, no. Uh, oh, God, get off. Did anybody ever teach you how to shut up? Did anybody yeah, ever teach baby. you how to shut up? Hey, this is freedom of speech. Anyone can say anything. That depends on what it is. Hi, this is Nova. Spring is here, the grass is green, and there is no more snow. And that to entertain us all is 790. Well, kids, 790 is back, and all of us people who were familiar with it before are really excited about getting back together again. So please call now if you have a chance, and things will be dynamite. I know. I'm oh, listening. I gotta go. Later. Who got on? I did. Hi, Dad. Oh my God, it's the captain. Daddy, it's the same old thing again. I don't know one thing that's true, and I and I can vouch for it. Yeah, what's that? <laughs> Three inches. Ah, ah. Oh. I thought it was ten. That's because it was ten, and you've been a little too hard, Ginger. Uh -huh. And I did the rest of it all. Yeah, you bit his left leg off, honey. Sam, what? Not the only one I like to anymore. Gail, I love you. Yeah, I love you too. Gail, yeah, you're the greatest. <laughs> Dynamite. Ronnie, say something. <laughs> Ronnie's a rubber neck anyway. Yeah, yeah. I love a clock. Today's day. Today is March, well, it's, it's, it's early in the morning, March 12, 1976. Okay. Okay. And Bruce is talking off. And so it's me and Bruce. Look who's talking. How come there are only six people on here now? Oh, this is me. Bruce, Ronnie, Gail, me, Ginger, and Samantha. Toby. And who else? There are two others. Toby. Andy yeah. Nathan. Oh, that's right. Yeah, good night, everybody. Good night, Jim. Good night, Jim. Go to sleep. Good night, everybody. Go to sleep. This fucking party one's gonna keep me up all night. Oh, they're gonna be the downfall of me. Good night, everybody. I'm thinking of Melba? What? But I'll speak to you later, sweetie. Swell. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she comprehended that. <laughs> no. It's a little late. <laughs> She's about eight months overdue. No. <laughs> Oh. oh, my God, I'm scandalized. Well, okay. Good night, Gail. Good night, honey, I love you. Good night, Good night, Good night, son. Good night, 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 Good when that happens, that will call attention to the line on the part of the phone company, and it may cause them to shut the line down. Let me tell you something. If you like to use this line, I would suggest you don't use it during the daytime because it'll be found out. If you want to use it, use it after 5 o'clock on weekdays. You have reached a non-working number, Andy You have reached a non-working number, Andy You have reached a non-working number, Andy You have reached a non-working number, how did 790 deck me? Well, let's see, it was very time consuming. But it was a lot of fun while it lasted. But God, if anyone ever knew, it was, it was unbelievable. I mean, we were all becoming hermit. And we were locked up in our rooms with the pillows thrown around our heads, screaming into the phone with the stereos blasting loud so no one could hear us. <laughs> but um, when it ended, I was a little disappointed. But it also gave me a lot, of, lot more time to do things that I had to do. Like when I was bored and had nothing to do, we'd call up and I'd listen 
you know, people wouldn't know that I was listening, but I really was. And I never really spoke on it. I just spoke to Gail and she did. made us laugh. But I remember a lot of it, and it was really funny. I was very disappointed when it got cut off. Well, I thought it was uh, pretty good, you know. I really enjoyed it. And I uh, had a lot of fun talking to all the people on the line, you know, like Gail and Ginger, Samantha, and Gary, and everybody else. And uh, it was a lot of fun, you know, to call it when you didn't have nothing to do. And if there's ever another party line, I'll definitely be on it. I have to admit, like, all the people that I talk to, like you and Gary, Ginger, Samantha, Ronnie, and just to name a few, I mean, like, I really... I have to admit, like, I really enjoy talking to all these people, and you're probably right, in a couple of years from now, like, if I ever call up again, I'll get to, you know, hear those old tapes, and I'll kind of bring back memories of all the fantastic people that I talk to. They're kind of like my telephone friends. There's no doubt in my mind that 7 I Know is the most successful line. I called it almost every night, yeah, and I, I really enjoyed it. I think the reason that I enjoyed it most is because people that I that I really like talking to for it. And uh, I think that the ending of any party line makes people really think about what a unique experience it really was. These people would just realize afterwards, you know, what fools they made out of themselves, just time wasted on the line. And if, and if they stop doing it, we can really have a good line. Maybe next time, uh, and you know, there'll be a next time, believe me. We could have a good line without all these, these idiots on the line. And that's something to look forward to. This has been a Melbourne Productions telephone release. The Melbourne Productions Division of Anapia Enterprises. Anapia. 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 Anapia.